When I see Saz with his son Daj, I'm reminded of my own father. Though, he wasn't anything like Saz at all. He was a hard, strict man. Or so I always thought. Even if we cannot truly see them, I know that souls must exist in some form. How else can we explain what happened back on the wrecked ship between Saz and his son? God is not omniscient. He cannot see into the hearts of people. To him, emotions are a mystery. Only humans can truly know their secrets. Of course, there are many times when humans misread each other too. Like me and my father. For the longest time, we didn't understand each other. Listen, when the final day arrives, Fang is going to try to save Vanil. I'm sure of it. And what about you? Will you try to stop Vanil? Stop the Soul Song? You know it's God's will that it takes place. Have you forgotten he's holding my sister hostage? The promise of her return, anyway. I've got to do what he wants, or else... Interesting answer. Some people might take that to mean, if it wasn't for the threat, you would consider defying him. Some people might? What about you? Do you trust me? Of course I trust you. I'm sorry, Light. I didn't mean to sound like I don't. I'll always be on your side, even if you do decide to turn against God. You know that. It was just for a second, but I saw Sarah. I guess I must be doing something right. God decided to give me a little taste of my final reward. You don't sound very pleased. <sighs> Ever since I woke up as the savior, I haven't felt much of anything. I think it's because you've been made something more than human, something almost divine. Wait, what do you mean? The Savior is God's chosen servant. The Aradia is your life force now. It's the light of God himself inside every cell of your being. What I'm saying is, it's as if you're turning into a god yourself. And when does that stop? When the end comes, will I be sitting up there in heaven with Bonavelsa himself? Not the future I want. Stronger? Then you're at the right place.
back soon. followers of Etro. They were run out of the cities for being heretics. And fled here, a land blighted by the... I can't take this curse anymore. I need Cardesia's elixir. He said something about Cardesia. That sounds like a woman's name. Cardesia. I know her. That's the apothecary in Yogged Village. I ran across a man in Polta who was calling out your name. He seemed ill. I don't suppose you know him. What? You... you ran into Taylor? He was in a bad state, wasn't he? Remember the medicine I had you gather ingredients for? I didn't tell you, but it's for him. You haven't given it to him? Not yet, but I have a reason. You see, the problem with this medicine is that it only works immediately after it's been concocted. I thought of heading to Polta with the ingredients and brewing it there, but unfortunately the village doesn't have the facilities or equipment I need. So you're saying that you can only make it here, but at the same time he needs to take it soon after it's made. If you want, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. I might make it in time on my chocobo. What? You would do that for me? I can't promise I'll get there fast enough, but if you're willing to try, so am I. Can you mix up a batch now? Of course I can. If you'll just give me a minute, I'll prepare some right away. I'll bet my reputation that I can fix that curse. Curse? I thought he had some kind of illness. It's a curse.
Who are you? Cardesia sent me. Here, she brewed this for you. Did you say Cardesia? Oh, finally. I can say goodbye to this cursed life. You don't know how relieved I am. Just hush and drink it down. Please, can you tip it toward my mouth so I might have a sip? The goddess is waiting for me. What do you mean? Never mind that. Please, I just need a little taste. I've been waiting so long for this. <coughs> what? Oh, why am I still alive? Is this not poison? Poison? No, it's medicine. She didn't tell you anything, did she? Cardesia has felt nothing but hatred toward me all these years. And why wouldn't she? I killed the love of her life. So I told her, if she ever wanted to have her revenge, all she would need to do is to conjure up some poisonous brew and hand it to me. When you approached me with the concoction, I thought it was finally my time to die. If taste could kill, I'd be dead in a second. But this poison has no effect on me. She must be losing her touch. Why are you so convinced that she was trying to poison you? Maybe the medicine is what she said it was, something to lift the curse from you. Nope, no way. I've lived a long, long life. There's no way Cardesia would help me see more days. Not after what I did to her. Or perhaps her plan isn't to kill me, but to keep me alive so I can live with the guilt of my deeds. What do you think? How would I know? All I can say is this. After taking your medicine, you're looking less pale. You seem to be breathing a lot easier, and your pain has gone. Am I wrong? Huh? Ah. Oh. Well, now that you mention it... Oh, I wish I knew what was going on inside her head. Why would she forgive me? I killed someone she loved. I thought... That, I, I thought that drinking this concoction would put us both out of our misery. It was supposed to kill me and bring her peace, knowing she had avenged his death. If you really want to die, no one's stopping you. But you're still here, which would suggest to me... There must have been a reason for you to keep going. You've spent years with this burden of a curse. It must have been harder to live than die. But you did choose life. Maybe you were hoping Cardesia would try to kill you. That way you'd escape the pain. But not only that, you'd be free of your guilt. And that would be the only way that she could forgive you. But things have changed. She let you live with the pain, but now she's saved you. I think that means she's letting go of the past. That's not possible! How could she? Oh, what have I done? Cardesia, my old friend, will you ever be able to forgive me? I beg of you. Valhalla. It is a most holy treasure that lies hidden somewhere within the temple of Valhalla. And why are you asking me? Because I sense that you may have been touched by the chaos, which means you may have some kind of connection to the vessel. It is filled with the divine grace of the goddess herself. Vessel? So this grail, is it like a flask or a casket? No one has laid eyes upon it. But if you are indeed the Chosen One, spoken of in the legends, then the Angel will take you to the temple, and there you may set eyes upon it. Much to offer, though few travelers grace us with their presence out here.
pray the goddess offers you protection throughout your whole journey. Chocobo! I, I am one of the believers, awaiting the world's end. And you, you, you are the bringer of the end. That creature with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety and for your soul. The Chocobo is fully recovered from his wounds. I think it's time, Light. Fate has brought you this far, and the Chocobo is ready to take you the rest of the way. Go to the temple. Find the source of the Great Chaos. You... You have been chosen by the Angel of Valhalla. I... I am one of the believers, awaiting the world's end. And you... You are the bringer of the end. That creature with feathers of white will lead you toward your destined path. Now is the time. You must make your way to the temple. I will stand right here, praying for your safety and for your soul. To reach the temple, you have to follow the route from Polta as far as you can. Then the angel of Valhalla will fly you the rest of the way. Your mission was to bring me here, to the gates of this temple, and you've completed that task. Ah! From here on in, I go it alone. What happens next is the Savior's job. Ah! The Temple of the Goddess. It was not originally a part of this world, but was left here when Valhalla fell. Legends tell us that the Great Chaos sleeps within this temple's walls. It would most likely refer to the power that has destroyed this world. The unseen chaos that has torn the world apart, and it was unleashed by one man, all because he wanted to stop time for a girl he loved. Caius Ballad. If only I could have stopped him earlier. But I didn't. appeared in the temple, and the chaos reacted to it. 
Is someone manipulating the chaos somehow? Or does it actually have a will of its own? The chaos in that temple is not the normal kind. That is obvious enough. looking for uh. what are you trying to do there are no souls here for you to save just dead people waiting for the end to come I knew it you know nothing you don't know what this place is but I do it's a graveyard for the living dead no one here seeks your salvation We seek only oblivion. So, we meet again, Caius Ballad. It's been a while, woman who would be goddess. But you are no goddess now. You are a hunter of souls. <laughs> by now ah death were it so but they won't let me die instead I must haunt these halls a corpse living a life bereft of meaning savior the temple of the goddess has become a shrine to chaos a place for the dead a world where the living dare not tread but if they do they must be ready to face the chaos. Hey! When you're inside this temple, you're going to lose your powers. You don't belong here. You should leave while you can. Are you giving me safety tips? That's not like you. So, you're, uh, going after him. You must really hate him. Though I guess he did destroy the world, right? <laughs> Light, are you okay? Respond if you can hear me. I'm fine, but it was a long fall. How far down am I? Can you tell? You seem to be on the lowest level of the temple. Give me a second to find a route out. That was an unpleasant surprise, though. To think that Caius was still alive. I wonder, why would that man be trying to use the great chaos to thwart God's plans now? The line is full of noise. It's interference from the chaos. And it's probably not too good for your health, either. This great chaos is incredibly dense. My instruments can't handle it. The readings are off the scale. I'm not picking up any signs of other threats. It's just chaos. Just because you can't detect anything doesn't mean there's nothing lurking inside. In this chaos, I wouldn't trust your sensors to tell you what's going on. You're probably right. It's not called unseen chaos for nothing. There are things that can't be seen by the eye or or my sensors. Yeah, even if you can't see it, I hope you can still track it. Keep me updated if anything seems to change. You want me to track something I can't see? You must really think I'm a miracle worker. I'll do my best. <laughs> 